I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about Bacopa monnieri, or also called Brahmi. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and possible side effects. Bacopa monnieri is an aquatic herb originally found in the wetlands and marshy areas of Southeast Asia and India. Bacopa is also known as water hyssop. It's often referred to as Brahmi, named after the supreme god Brahma. Ancient Ayurvedic texts talked about Bacopa because it was recommended to devotees to help them memorize long passages of text. In the West, Bacopa monnieri is often used to reduce anxiety, depression, and stress. But it's gaining popularity in the nootropic community as a powerful memory and cognition booster. The active compound Bacoside A in Bacopa easily cross the blood-brain barrier. So how does Bacopa monnieri work in the brain? Well, it boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, Bacopa monnieri boosts memory. Bacopa's two active components are bacocides A and B, and they improve the signaling of electrical impulses between neurons in your brain. Bacocides also help rebuild, rebuild damaged neurons. Bacopa monnieri helps you learn and remember things more easily. In one study, researchers gave 54 volunteers in Portland, Oregon, 300 milligrams of Bacopa per day for 12 weeks. After the 12 week study, the people taking Bacopa had better word recall, better attention, better memory scores, a greater ability to focus while learning, and less anxiety and lower heart rates. Now, the second way Bacopa reduces stress. Bacopa has traditionally been used in Ayurveda as a tonic, as a tonic for the nervous system. It helps reduce anxiety. Researchers at Banaras Hindu University in India showed that Bacopa it was an effective, as effective for anxiety as the benzodiazepine drug lorazepam. One of the side effects of lorazepam is memory loss. Bacopa, on the other hand, reduced anxiety while boosting cognition. So how do things go bad in your brain? Now, Pay attention to this. This is important because chronic stress and cortisol are pretty serious business. They can damage your brain. Neuroscientists at University of California in Berkeley found that chronic stress triggers long-term change in brain structure, structure and function. Chronic stress damages neural networks in certain proteins that are overexpressed, damaging neurons as a result. Toxins invade cells. Hijack, hijacking their normal healthy function, and oxidative damage by free radicals harm, produce uh, harm in cells if they're not removed. So chronic stress reduces memory capacity, toxins kill brain cells from the inside, free radicals destroy neurons and synapses, under conditions of chronic stress your brain loses the capacity to transmit signals between neurons efficiently, and memory, cognition, and decision-making all suffer as a result. So this is where Bacopa comes to the rescue. Bacopa monnieri undoes damage to the brain caused by chronic stress and helps keep it healthy. Now this part is a little complicated, so stay with me here. Your brain is protected by heat shock protein 70, or HSP70, and cytochrome enzymes Arod and Prod and superoxide dismutase sod. Got that? HSP70 helps proteins in cells retain the normal structure so they remain functional. Arod and prod are detox enzymes, and they protect your brain by converting bad toxins into less harmful compounds. And sod battles destructive free radicals called superoxides and converts them into harmless organic compounds. When you're under stress, 
levels of HSP70 increase in all regions of your brain. But research shows that animals pre-treated with Bacopa for seven days prevented most of this increase in HSP70, particularly in areas of the brain responsible for memory. Now this means that producing less HSP70 under stress, Bacopa makes, makes your brain less susceptible to stress. Bacopa kept those regions of the brain in a non-stress state, even in the presence of stress. Bacopa also has a preemptive action on sod and prod, or erod and prod. Rats treated with Bacopa, but not under stress, saw an increase in these two enzymes, suggesting that Bacopa helps stockpile these protective enzymes to help you better deal with stress. And when it comes to sod, researchers said that Bacopa helps in coping with a combined hypoxic, hypothermic, and immobilizing immobilization stress, which could lead to an onslaught of free radicals. So Bacopa helps sod activity and prepares cells to weather attacks by free radicals. Translated, this all means that Bacopa helps our brain deal with stress and helps boost memory. So how does Bacopa feel when you take it as a supplement? Well, the effects of Bacopa are not felt immediately, but seem to build over time. Some users report a pronounced anti-anxiety effect within two to four days of supplementing with Bacopa. In one study done in Australia, results were measured at five and 12 weeks of taking Bacopa. The results showed improved speed of information processing and an inc increase in learning and memory. Maximum reduction in anxiety was realized after 12 weeks of use. Now, some neurohackers say they feel the effects of Bacopa sooner than four weeks, and the effects seem to keep working even after they stop supplementation. The effects are long-term. Now, long-term users say they consistently feel calmer, can think quicker, and they have better memory. And we've got a ton of research backing this up. Bacopa monieri is a nootropic. Bacopa for stress reduction. Bacopa for longevity. To see links to these clinical studies, just go to Nootropics Experts and, and search for the Bacopa article. So for dosage, there's no right dosage of Bacopa. Everybody's every person's body is, there, is unique. In general, use the lowest dosage that works for you. And Bacopa works better if taken a few days in a row rather than just once. Recommended dosage of Bacopa containing 45% bacocides is 200 to 450 milligrams a day. Recommended dosage of Bacopa containing 20% bacocides is 750 milligrams a day. Higher dosing should be divided equally so that your first dose is in the morning and your next dose is early afternoon. Bacopa is fat soluble, so it should take, be taken with a healthy fat source like organic cold-pressed virgin, virgin olive or coconut oil. Fat helps your body absorb the compounds in Bacopa that, that, you, that, help, that benefit your brain and helps deliver it right into your brain cells. As for side effects, with Bacopa they're rare when it's used as directed, but they can include fatigue and that's upset stomach. The bioactive component of Bacopa monieri is Bacoside A, which is a mixture of saponins with Bacoside A3, Bacopaside 2, and jujubogenin isomer of Bacopa saponin C. Got that? Bacopa supplements are available in powder, capsule, and tablets. Check the label for the concentration of Bacocides. A Bacopa extract with a higher Bacoside concentration requires a lower dose. So my nootropics, nootropics expert recommendation is Bacopa monieri up to 450 milligrams per day. And that's my report on Bacopa. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for Bacopa. Or, ser or just click on the link below this video. There you'll also feel that you'll find a full transcript of this video 
and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using Bacopa, please go to my article on Nootropics Expert and leave it in the comments section at the bottom of the article. We also have a growing forum there where you can go to talk about anything related to nootropics and optimizing your brain. If you want to see more videos on all the popular nootropics used today, please subscribe to this channel before you go. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.